What I find interesting about complex adaptive systems is that they're everywhere. In nature, we have endless examples. School of fish, you know, swarms of bees, fractal patterns arising in snowflakes or broccoli. But artificially engineered complex adaptive systems are also ubiquitous today. You see examples of them in the economy and even healthcare. A complex system is usually defined as a system containing many interactive elements. And the relationships and interactions of different components of the system to some extent shape how the system behaves. That is, we can't understand the complex whole without looking at the individual activities and multi-leveled interactions of the parts. Acting and reacting to one another in a dynamic way. Chaotic, but yet capable of undergoing self-organization. Which means the system is able to adapt and evolve to the changing environment. Or the idea that one change causes a ripple effect throughout an ecosystem. Cultural and individual production affects the system while the system affects cultural and individual production. Playing the game changes the rules. The study of such behavior can reveal some common characteristics among different classes of systems and allow us to arrive at a proper understanding of complexity as an idea based on our experience, but somehow related to various manifestations of life. If you think about this in relation to my area of research, which is women's health and particularly domestic violence, this is a complex system. Families and social networks, healthcare services, social services, and legal services. I study the ways that the new sciences like information and chaos theory, fractal geometry, algorithmic culture, swarms, and so on, are represented and misrepresented, understood and misunderstood. Disability is not just something that's internalized or pathologized in someone's body. Body, but it is an interaction between a person and their body and society. I'm an engineer, water resources engineer. I build models of water systems and then use them to simulate their behavior. My work on complex adaptive systems in applied linguistics highlights the transformation of the cognitive and linguistic system brought about by knowing multiple languages. Viewing uh, migrant settlement behavior as complex adaptive systems would significantly change how we offer services to migrants. As a biochemist, I'm interested in things like chemotherapy and how people respond to it. And the question is, why do some people uh, respond to the therapy and why do others not? <laughs>